Yep, we're live. Guess what? Hey, yo, it's me, Pops Fan Marmalade, and you're watching the Comics Related Madness Network. Uh-huh. So come get some. Cromcon. Cromcon. First world, come in and take a seat Pay us no attention, it's all conspiracy We have satire and parody, some funny, some perverse If none of it's offensive to you, you'd be the first Welcome, welcome, welcome to another Madness Gaming with Max Freakin' Deville. What's up? What's up, dude? <laughs> welcome, everyone, and our new guy. But he's dead, so you won't be able to tell he's here. But <laughs> Nobody's perfect. You know, um, I, I'm not sure what's going on with Tobias. Tobias, can you hear us? Yeah, can you hear me? All right, all right, yeah. we can hear you. Good, cool, cool. cool. Okay. All right. Everybody is in the game. Everybody is ready to go. Look, we, we, we look better than last week, Max. Yeah. <laughs> Max ain't in the hospital and we all here. Look at that. <laughs> That's always good. So dead guy, you'll be you'll be introduced soon, but uh all good. Give it give it time here. That guy's mm -hmm. gone. All right, so the last time we were playing. You guys were climbing up Firefinger, uh, fighting your way through the the Terra folk, and you're about to go to the top of the the, the tower. We all gonna so die. You, you ran into the, uh, the 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 wounded Kinku that took off after you let him go. He just ran off and flew away. Yeah, that guy, that, Lori didn't even heal that guy. I mean, I hey mean. Man. He didn't ask. He just took off. <laughs> he wanted out. He wanted out. Who's this here? If he gets eaten, oh, it's his God. own fault. It's his own fault. I could talk, I swear. <laughs> All right. So we are now sitting in the, their little, uh, Rat's nest, which you guys have already plundered, and you're waiting to to decide what to do next. We're going up. We're going up. Yeah, I think it's we're all healed, right? We're all healed and ready to go. Yeah. Did we spend the night there? We got all of our spots available and everything. I don't know. Did you spend the night? I thought we did. I think we did. Okay. 
Then you spent the night, no problem. Um, we need to. You gotta. You guys need to throw a rope up because it's a, just a hole in the ceiling, and then it's a DC 10 strength check to make the the, the climb. I'm gonna fall on my ass again. You watch. <laughs> Strength check. Let's see. Not a strength save. A strength check. So you just hit the strength button. Yeah. Tobias made it. Lori didn't make it. So she <laughs> had, you guys, Pops, Pops rolled a strength save and Lori rolled a strength save. Oh, damn it. Which one is it then? You just want to click strength. Oh, okay. Uh. There you go. Thank God. <laughs> My strength doesn't do anything when I click it. At the, click the word strength. Oh, okay. okay. There you go. Everybody's made it up to the top. Thank so goodness. let me move you. Let me click you all together here. So I can move everybody at once. Well, real quick here, while we're climbing up there, wouldn't the first person be able to tell us what they see and make sure there's nothing up there waiting for us? Um, I think oh, Tobias the needs to cast his insight before we go anywhere. That's what I think. Well, you want me to bless everybody? Yeah, we need to do um, um, prep before we go up the ladder, guys. Come on. <laughs> <sighs> At least we know we can make it up the ladder. But look, there's five of those things. Well, who was the one that went up there first? Tobias, you went up there first. You poke your head up. You see three of these Terra folk up on top of the tower that's on fire. And they're on the side of it, just like picking at some some dead bodies. But here, I'll just I'll just read this for you. The spire's pinnacle is flat and roughly 40 foot square. The edges are crumbling away. It wouldn't be safe to stand too close to any of them. Vines and low brush grow in profusion. Bones and scraps of meat from dozens of creatures are scattered everywhere. A crumbling stone tower rises another 30 feet above the northern corner of the platform. A roaring flame floats in the air hovering above the tower. Tumbled debris from around the tower is heaped on its, around its location. Three humanoid creatures with needle-like beaks and leathery wings are worrying about the last shreds of flesh from well-chewed bones from a nearby open doorway into the base of the tower. All right, so Tobias, you come back down and you basically tell us this is what you're seeing, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I will relay the information. Well, yeah. I can only mimic stuff, though. Yeah. He's oh, because like, you can't actually oh, speak, can you? Well, I, I, can, I, can, I can speak, but only from words that I've... I'll probably do motions, mostly. Was, uh, do I even have fingers? I, I don't. <laughs> here we go. Let's get a little bit more organized on here. If he can't convey it, can somebody pop their head up there that's not wearing full plate mail and at least be able to tell us what we're seeing? We need some that's kind of stuff. Lori's the second person that went up there, so she could take a peek. Okay, yeah. I take a peek. And then I tell you guys all the things. It's scary up there. There's lots of bones. There's lots of pterodactyls. Um, I have a tattoo of a pterodactyl on the back of my shoulder. I have a story about that, which I can tell you mm -hmm. sometime. But right now, I think we should focus on um, not dying. Right. Mm -hmm. Should I bless the group? Yes, please. Ooh, doo, doo, doo. Let me go over to spells. Bless. I'm going to activate my stealth. All right. Thank you. Johnny uh, or Balanor, I should yep. say. Um, which, which three creatures do you choose, Lori? To bless? Yeah. Uh, who's going to do that? Well, who's going to do the most damage in our group here? Who's dead guy? Are you? A, what class are you? He's not even in the, in the group here. Ah, okay. Technically, well, then, I don't exist. He's not it then. So I would say probably, uh, well, it's going to be Johnny, Tobias, and Pops. 
<laughs> so he's mostly dead, is what you're telling us. <laughs> yes, mostly dead. Unless everybody in the group except for myself, because I'm gonna stay in the back. I'm not quite dead. Back. When they bite you. Um, we have a guide as well. You could, you could. Kind of actually, other than the rest of you, though, combined. So let's not waste it on mm -hmm. her. Blessed for him. Blessed for pops. Johnny pops and uh, Tobias get blessed. Does anyone have any issues with me sneaking up and stabbing one in the back? <laughs> no. Well, we need to get a plan of action because yeah. you might that's be weird. trying to sneak, but that doesn't mean you're going to sneak, and that means they all attack us at once. Yeah, yeah that's what happened last time. Or yeah, that one exactly. time. Exactly. Um, um, I don't mind is this firing at us. Max, real quick, is this yeah. daytime or is this morning? Yeah, it's morning time. So they can see us. Okay. Mm hmm I, I got no issue with shooting arrows over Balinor's shoulder, so I'm right behind you, bro. Tobias, can I switch spots with you? What do you mean? I want to where your your token is. That's where I want to be. I want to be surrounded by everybody else in the back. Sure. Yeah. Well, you're gonna want to get away from that cliff as soon as possible. As possible. Yeah, we all gotta yeah, move. We all gotta move. move. Right, but usually when we roll like initiative, I'm usually last, so they all come after the people in the front. Yep. And I don't want to okay. be taken out. So they don't notice you when you first climb out of the hole in the ground. They're too busy having their breakfast. <laughs> Gross. Nice. <laughs> oh, I didn't click on myself first. I'm sorry. There we go. I rolled my stealth. I think click I got on your it. token and Easy. then hit initiative. Your stealth is 22, so yeah, you're good. You you don't you beat their passive perception. So he's gonna go stab one in the back. Yeah. Which one? Well. Because these three are up on top of the building. God damn it. This one's on the ground, and this one's on the ground. Um. So it's got to be one of the two on the left. Yeah, I'll go with. I mean, I'll, I'll go with the one in the in front on the left. Okay, so move your guy over there. Where you want to be? I think I'm going to whisper to to Pops that as soon as he lets his arrow go, I'm going to start. I'm going to charge. Yeah, yeah. You might be before me anyway. We got to finish out this uh, initiative. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. I'm going to wait until that arrow is let loose. So run your attack. You get a plus four. So just roll the attack, and we'll add four to it. All right. Let me make sure. I'm pretty sure you hit him, but let me make sure. Peter. <clears throat> Terrible. All right. Uh, yes, you hit him. First brothers. <laughs> then uh, roll your sneak attack, Tobias. Is this one? I don't want to cast it. I want to see it. So you hit him for nine. Okay, and then I want to use my uh, cunning action. Okay. And use that to uh, target target him again, so that I can sneak attack him next turn. Good. All right, now everyone misses. There's an attack on there. Everyone does need to roll initiative. So let me roll the initiative for these monster folk. We need the the guides initiative in there too. Yep. out move it over there put her initiative in the thing. 
Yeah. Ain't no help. All right. <laughs> All right. So the first thing that happens is this one right here turns around and sees you guys at the hole and starts screeching like a fucking madman. <laughs> Luz, you're up. Bless you. Oh, man. You're up, Luz. All right. I'm going to cast Spiritual Weapon, um, which the range is 60 feet, right? Yep. So I get to cast a Spectral Weapon. Yep. Um, where, you last, it. where do I want to put the weapon? Yeah. Um, I'm going to move my character there and move her back, okay? okay. Put the weapon right here. Okay. Because I'm going to attack, and I get a, it says as a bonus action on your turn, you can move the weapon again and repeat the attack against another creature within five feet of it. So if it's there, I'm first going to attack the one on the right. Okay. And then the one on the left for the second bonus action. So I click on spiritual weapon. Yes. Let's see. Submit. Yep. There we go. All right, that's a hit. So you hit it for five. What? Which one is the one twenty at the the twenty at the bottom of the turn order? Which one is that? That's the one that already went. The one yeah. that Tobias hit. No. Or the one that screeched. The one that screeched. Okay. But how do I do the bonus action? All right. Now you want to use your bonus action. That's an action during your your movement. So you want to move it over somewhere? You said. Well, it's within five feet of the one on the left, correct? Yeah. So, I mean, I could move it over, or I could just leave it there and hit the one on the left as well. But yeah, how go do ahead. I, how just do roll, I roll the bonus action? Just roll your your, uh, your bonus action is something you do, so just roll the damage again. Roll the damage again? Yep, for spiritual weapons. Uh, let's we'll, see. Roll to hit. Just roll another spiritual weapon. Click yep. spiritual weapon. Yes? Yep. There we go. 19 is a hit for seven. Minus seven for him. All right. So what is your spiritual weapon anyways? It could be anything you want. Um, I'll have it be my mace because I have one of those. Uh, all right. So you got a floating spectral mace there. And it... <laughs> bashes into this one and then quickly bashes into this one hitting them both uh this was paying more attention to the weapon tobias because it hasn't seen you yet because you're hidden in the bushes it was chair focus next this one this one takes off flying around the corner oh no Then we're gonna we're gonna attack Balinor with the terror dive. It's got a melee weapon, so it's got a claw. And that's a miss, so it misses Balinor. Hermes. You are up. Um, it's my turn again. Yep. Okay. Um, I'll attack Let's... that same guy then. All right. Roll to hit. With the plus four. Sneaks cat. No, you got to roll to hit first. Oops. All right. The eighteen hits. So the seven damages stands. So you've cut this thing up. You stab it with your rapier, and it's barely, it's kind of, you know how, like, when you, a bird hits a door or a window, it kind of flops around on the ground? Yeah. That's what this thing is doing. It's screeching and flopping around on the ground. I have a question. 
Yep. So my, my sneak it. Okay, never mind. I'll just. I thought I got confused for a second. Oh, another question. Mm -hmm. Never mind. I'll ask you later. All right. Anything else you want to do, Hermes? Um, I'll use my. Uh, I'll use that thing again because it, <clears throat> it says I can use it every turn. So. With the cutting action. Yeah. Except yeah. I'm gonna use it on. Uh, is this other guy next to him on the ground now? The, no. To the right. One behind him. Um, this was on the building. This attached to the building. Okay. Well, this I'll, one's on the ground. Uh, I'll target the one behind him then with this thing, because this one. Yeah. Okay. And then I gotta roll my wisdom. It's a wisdom against their, um, against their charisma. Well, it fucking failed, whatever you rolled. <laughs> Damn it. What'd you roll? He rolled a 521. No, I know, but what is he doing? Uh, I'm doing the, the uh, do I target him for, uh, so I can do a sneak attack on him next turn. Oh, okay. All right, so he's targeted. Cool. What's Mr. Bohawk. Uh, let's drop a hunter's mark on the one that came at Balinor. Okay. Um, now I'm going to take a shot at him with the longbow, but I'm also going to send Panther <coughs> over to finish off the flopper. <clears throat> send who? My Panther. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, so uh, let me take my shot. Where are we at here? Oh, that's not what I'm trying to do. You gotta roll the hit first. <sighs> and that's a miss. Yeah, I figured. Okay, well. So it, the so arrow no. flies into the it flies into the air but past the fucking terra folk and just continues on down, 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 down the the tower. Okay. Well, you send the panther over to attack this thing? Yep. Alright, just roll a one D twenty. Oh, where's my 1D20 at? Um, bang. <laughs> you rolled a D3? Wake up, Bohawk. <laughs> You're sleeping. No, you rolled a D20, and you got a 3. Okay, so that thing misses as well. Yeah, I'm doing well. Started off wonderful. Yep. <laughs> Terra Folk comes over here. Terror dive on There we go. That's good. Shit. That's a Six. Who's he hitting? Ralph. Ralph. <laughs> He hits Ralph with the thing, and Ralph is frightened. Oh, no. So what do we use for frightened? Do we use this? Oh, my God, he's frightened. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. All right, Balinor, you're up. This thing just attacked you, and it's floating yep. probably... Uh, it's flying around your head right now. Alright, I was going to cast my... Uh, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and cast my Hunter's Mark on it. Alright. That's means to be more quiet. Oh, go. crap. We have to, don't forget, everybody has bless. So, like, don't they get to roll if they miss? Yeah. Sorry, Pops. <laughs> Just remember. <laughs> Pops is misses with well, I mean his his longbow might actually hit. So give me a second. Uh, no, I did that and I'm gonna go ahead and take a swipe at him with my long sword. He's close enough, right? Yep. You need to lay down normally. Cause you're just gonna fall. <laughs> That's a hit. Uh, 
So roll your damage. Don't you just click it in the chat? There you go. Six damage to that guy. Plus the six from Hunter's Mark. It's minus 12. All right, so that's... The, you hit it. That thing, you, you dig deep into its, into its chest and it's bleeding profusely from where you gashed it. Good. Oh, how revolting. This folk here comes over here. Attacks Ahsoka with a multi attack. Oh, she's hurt. The claw hit her. Oh, two missed. For sure. Oh, that helps. Yeah. Three. All right, and then she gets to swing back at it. It's her turn. Go. She misses the first time. The hits the second time. That, that digs deep into its into its wing. And then we got this other Terra folk up here that's getting attacked. He's gonna move over, fly past this shit. And then uh, the flopper is flying now. Hermes, well, he's not flying. He's kind of stumbling over. Hermes, yeah, I'm just saying, get, he's flopping. You get, he's a, you, get an, you get an attack of opportunity okay. because it moved. But you used your bonus action, right? Um, yeah. So you don't get an attack of opportunity. Okay, so that's what that is. Yep. All right. So it flops over towards Pops. It makes a fucking couple swings and bites at him. I think the claw hit it hit you once. Uh, 13 is my AC, I think. So. Oh, okay. Well, then the claw would, both claws would hit you. Where's my freaking thing, man? Why can't I get back to it? Get back to my... Heck, I hate that. <clears throat> I want to go back to my regular sheet. Choose core. Okay. Armor class is 13, yes. All right, so it hits you twice. So the first one hits you for five. The second claw hits you for six. Oh, no. oh, oh, oh. Nice. So I'm down to 10 hit points. Yeah. The one that was screeching. It takes off. It's flying around here. Okay. Luz, you're up. Ooh, guys, who should I go for here? I can either um I can hit him with sacred flame. Um I spell I don't know, man. Or I could just use a freaking crossbow. You Which one is move. closest to dying, Max? The one that's over by the by bottom, right? This one is really close to dying. It's the one flopping around on the ground. All right. You can move your spiritual weapon and make an attack with it. Don't forget. Yeah. Now, do we want to go that. after the one that's? Do we want to go after the one that's flopping? That's like not. Attacking us or go after something that's attacking it just us. Almost killed me. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, that one did? Okay, I didn't know that was the actual one. Guys, guys, I want to go after the one that's almost dead because one, I don't have a lot of you know, like I'm not a fighter, right? I'm a cleric. So if I can at least take one out, it's one less one to attack, and then you guys can focus on the other bigger ones. You know what I mean? Yep. Or I can yep. heal somebody. I could try to heal Pops, but I don't Yeah, Pops is pretty hurt, kinda, in my opinion. But I could also save him on my next turn. Yeah, if I survive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Well, you would get to three saving throws, right? Mm-hmm. Or saving dice rolls, or saving roll, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I can take one more turn before I have to save you. So if I could do like a sacred flame and hit this guy, which one would do more damage? How do I tell? So if I did the crossbow, it says 1d8 piercing, sacred flame is 1d8 radiant. So they're about the same. Yeah, it's just, just different it's just different damage types. So like certain character monsters will have immunity to radiance or immunity to necrotic or immunity to fire damage or immunity to piercing damage or whatever. Do, but, do these guys have immunity to anything? No, no. no. You, you wouldn't know, but they don't. Well, then I'll, I'll do light crossbow and I'll aim for the one that's almost dead. All right, so this guy right here, okay. you got to roll, roll a 12 or above. Do, do, do. Nope. And you miss. So that arrow flies off into the into the distance. And now uh, you got your bonus action. You can move your your weapon and attack um, it too. So I don't have to cast that again? I don't have to use the spell for that? No, you just move it. All right. Does it attack again? Yes. All right. So I can move it. Um, I'm going to move my character there. Can you move it right here? Yep. And then I'm going to have it attack the one that's flopping around again. All right. So let me roll that. Damn. This weapon is a total miss. God damn it. Useless. Should have just healed me. I don't know if you should be damning God being a cleric and all that, but that's yeah. just my opinion. <laughs> I'm trying to help. Smite me down. <laughs> Uh, oh, I'll start healing next turn. <laughs> I figured I could at least take out the one that's almost dead. But nice try. Yeah. When you roll crap, it doesn't help. All right, so this one flies over and tries to grab Ralph, but doesn't get a hold of him. Ralph fights him off, and it floats. It's flying farther this way as it tries to grab Ralph and then Balinor, you get an attack of opportunity. Yeah. Awesome. I'll take, I guess, the one that's flopping around that's going after no, Pops. You, the, you get to attack the guy that moved out of your... Oh, that one? Your... Okay, then I'll attack him. All right. So... <laughs> that's a miss. God, but it's just horrible. So you miss swinging at it, and it moves past you, and Hermes. All right, everybody, regroup. Come on. Everybody, get in the game here. Let's Hermes kill these lucky. things. Everything goes his way. So let's let's have him roll some high, you know, rolls. And... Is the yeah. one that's hey, like Max, right in the future, can I use my hunter's mark on attack? I mean, on attack at any time I attack? Anytime you hit something that's marked with a hunter's mark, it takes extra damage. What I'm saying you is I could have put a mark on him too, you, right? You, you, you can only have a hunter's mark on one creature, and you can move it using your bonus action. But gotcha. you use your bonus okay. action to take an attack of opportunity. That's right. Okay. So how long is a minute in the game? Is that like one turn or... Uh, a minute. I think. I think a turn. Like each round is thirty or three, three to five seconds. Okay. And then each minute is like twenty rounds or something like that. Um. So the guy that's farthest away is he hurt at all? If we hit him at all, like the one that's like Which south. One? This one. Yeah. No, he's not hurt at all. Okay. Um. I suppose I'll. Uh, I might just hide and then sneak attack this guy that's right next to me. Okay. Since that seems to be working decently. So I do a. You're in the bushes, so you can hide. No All worries right. there. Do I need to roll for that? Nope. All right, then I'll just sneak attack this guy. Yep. Uh, 
you get a plus four to your sneak attack, and then you get a plus four if you need it. Oh, shit, you got a fucking... Here we go. All right, so roll the sneaky. Roll sneaky again because it's double damage. All right, so you hit him for 13. Woo that kills it. Wait, sneak so attack does double damage, or what was that? It did double damage because you got a 20. Or oh, you, roll okay. a you roll a natural 20 on your attack roll. I had one of the question. How, can I change my own portrait? Yeah. How do I... Oh, I'm sorry. How do I do that? You change your token, I have to do that. But if oh, you yeah, change that's... your portrait, you can change your portrait whenever you want by going it in. It was a token I wanted to change. All right, just post the picture into the chat. Okay, doke. In uh, StreamYard or in here? In the Roll20. Or not in the Roll20, but the, the oh, okay. Facebook chat so I can get the picture. All righty. And also, I will, um, I guess I don't, I don't, I can't use my bonus action because I already did. Okay. Yep. All right, Mr. Bohawk, you're up. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, let's yeah. see. Um, let's uh, Hunter's Mark, uh, the one right over Ralph. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna turn this Hunter's Mark off and turn it on for this one. All right, uh, we're gonna shoot at that one that I just marked. That one, okay. Um, and then I'm gonna have <laughs> go at that one, the flopper. What are you gonna do? You, 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 how many times are you plan on attacking here? I'm going to shoot at one, and my panther is going to attack. Oh, okay, all right, gotcha. Right, it's like last time, yep. Send the panther, panther after the flopper. Yep, shoot now, the, send, send the shot. Am I close enough to hit that dude with my um, short sword? Yep. All right, I'm going to slash that dude with the old short sword and then have right. to hit the one to the right. All right, send this. That's hey, it. we hit something. Yeah, Ooh. not for very much, though. Okay, right. so. Um, and just roll a 1d20 for the panther. Okay, the shield. Oh, there we go. Nice. Let me let me see what a panther's damage is. Hold on. Panther's damage is one d six plus two. So roll four slash roll space one d six plus two. I can't just click the one d six up there. <laughs> it has the two. Gotta have the plus two. I, yo, you don't just add two to it, okay? Well, I could. So that's five. Okay. So that, that kills this one. All right. Woohoo! Good job, Panther. I'm gonna have to name it now. We gotta have to give the Panther a name now. Yeah, we we'll have to give it a token and stuff too. Yeah. Jason, name it Jason. I said Susan. <laughs> <laughs> All it's right, so you've used, you've used all your, your movements and stuff, Pops, so you're yep. you're done for the turn. Yep. This Terra folk here is going to... did get a little bit of damage on the on the one, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. So this Terra folk here swings down, grabs Ralph. <laughs> Ralph's going over the edge, people. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. no. I kind of knew Ralph wasn't going to make it, but, you know. Flies over I mean, the edge and lets him go. And he, he, all you hear is, ah. Oh. Well, that's one way to go out. As he falls 300 feet to his death. Man, that sucks, doesn't it? Uh, just a waste of gear. <laughs> It's all right. That guy will, will hop in and take his spot. Yep. Okay. Speaking of dead guy, uh, 
What's the bed? That never gets old, by the way. You hear the you hear the sound of combat outside. You got your head is covered in a in a bag, and your hands and feet are bound because you are going to be there next next meal. But you hear the sounds of combat outside the outside the building that you're you're in. Okay. Someone go. Am I uh, am I gagged? No, you're not gagged. You just you just got a bag over your head so you can't see. Okay. So now you need to roll initiative. Okay. So roll the initiative in this. First, click on your token, which is right here, and highlight it. It'll draw a little box around your guy. Uh. And roll twenty. Yeah, and roll twenty. You click on your token. It's not letting me, but I'll, let me zoom in a little bit here. If it's not okay, you, got it. Token settings, I guess. No, you just click and hold it. Just click it to where it's, it's, it's highlighted. Oh, okay. All right, and then in your character sheet, click initiative. Bear with me, guys. Bear with me. You're good. All right. All right. So you rolled a nine. So let me put you in the proper spot. Great start. All right. So this Terra folk here just killed them. Balinor, you're up. Do it. Um. So I can get to this one over here that's still laying there, right? You can get to this one. Yep, that's the one I'll attack then. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do my hunter's mark because I think the one that's dead that I had it on, correct? Yep. Correct. You moved your hunter's mark. You need to move yourself. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh. Screen froze for, I'm trying to get back to this character sheet in one sec. There we go. So just go ahead and swing to attack. You need to move your character wherever you want it to move to. I would suggest you guys setting your screen up the way mine is so you don't have to open and close anything really. Yeah. That's now, you can, now you can attack. And you need to roll a 1d4 to add to it, so that'll make it a 12, which makes it a hit. So roll your damage. So you got 10 damage total. And that thing is, it's, you, you dig your, you dig your longsword deep into its neck. And there's blood spewing everywhere, and this thing is kind of squealing and trying to fucking swing blindly at you. Good. All right, Ben. So you hear the sounds of combat outside. Your feet and ankle, your wrists and ankles are bound, and you've got a bag over your head. Uh, I guess the first thing I'll do is take an action and try to break free if I can. Okay, it's a uh, strength check. So roll your strength. Okay. Just uh, not a save, but a check. So roll just the strength button. And that's a failure. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, and if I can, uh, I will. Uh, I will say something out loud as loud as I can. Uh, hello, is anyone out there? Can you hear me? All right. So, Mr. Bohawk and Balnor would be able to hear that. Okay, uh, um, help, uh, uh, guys. There's somebody. In, there's somebody in the tower. Oh. There's somebody in the tower. 
we should probably try to get him out. We just oh, lost. Bro, let's, let's, let's deal with let's deal with this. We uh, on time. I think we're gonna attack. <laughs> we're gonna wait till everybody's dead first. Yeah, I'm not turning yes. my back on the pterodactyl. <laughs> yeah, well, I, let's. Well, I mean, t that's something. Let's take this pterodactyl out, and then we can go figure yeah. out who's the where. We still got three. We still got three of these things, man. So don't yeah. everybody get all complacent. We're working. <laughs> don't get me killed. <laughs> Ain't nobody yeah. hear you. Don't worry. Don't worry. All right. So this one jumps down and attacks a Zaka and bites deep into her arm, and there's just blood explodes everywhere as it makes a critical strike against her arm. Oh, no. She's bleeding profusely from her arm, but she's just doesn't even seem to be paying any attention to it. What? As she as she's attacks back attacks back. Damn. Yeah. Damn. She didn't get the second attack, but she got the first one for six, which no, kills it. Arm probably didn't look yes, right. kill it. Cool. So she, she she gets her arm mangled and then she just she goes, jams her sword, her scimitar, directly into his chest. And it goes out the back of it and the thing's like, Rah! and then it just hits the ground, dead. Max, I love you. <laughs> dead. So that one's dead. Where's, what's, let's get rid of it off the list Here's dead so remove it from the list this one's still alive this one's dead this one's dead alright so back so comes over here Terror dive at Luz. Oh no. And it misses. Oh thank God. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm gonna die. <laughs> <laughs> so it's slide it dives at you and swings its claw and you just duck matrix style and it just kind of whiffs right past your face. Nice. I stay and calm too. So I don't scream in terror. <laughs> and now you're up. All right. Um, how many spaces can I move? Six. One, two, three, four, five. I'm actually going to move myself. Helps if I'm on my screen and not the streamer. I'm going to move myself here. 10, 15, 20. And I can still heal from there. Okay, I'm going to. Second. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five. That's five spaces. Yep. And you go inside there, you see a, a robed gentleman with a bag over his head and his feet and, and wrists and ankles are bound by rope. Well, I see him. Hey, guys, there's a guy tied up in here. I'm going to help him. Hold up. First, no, first, no, 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 no. Leave him first, alone. I'm going to pox from here. No, no, Why? no. Because we don't know anything about dude. Well, we can at least take the bag off of his head next to <laughs> I'm just going to stand there. I don't want to get tossed off the cliff. Um, I'm going to cure pops from here. So I'm going to roll cure wounds. Cure wounds is a touch spell, isn't it? Oh, fudge. That's not the one I want. <laughs> healing word? Let me double check. It's the one yeah, where he I can... Your yeah, healing word is distance. Word. 60 feet. Yeah, so I can do that one. Submit. Seven. All right. So pops is healed for seven. Okay, we're going to get back over to my... How did I go back up to 17? You gave it to I me? Just, I, I just did it. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. I was like, man, what's up? <laughs> okay, who's up? What's up? All uh, right, so Hermes, you are up next. Okay. Um, I think I still have this guy sneak attack marked or whatever. Um, so I will fire this guy's sneak attack marked. Yeah, I'll hit him with my crossbow or whatever it is. Out of the bushes comes a crossbow bolt. Short bow, sorry. Okay, short bow. 
Yes. And even with a plus four, you can't hit him. So that the crossbow bolt flies wide right and just continues down, down, down into the, the abyss below. Hey, man, we should. All right. Okay. <laughs> and I'm going to um, use my bonus action to, well, I can still move, right? Correct. I'm going to use my bonus action to hide. Okay. And then I'm going to go over here. Oh, I sent that image, by the way. Yeah, I just I gotta oh. wait till this till this fight's over with, and I'll get it done. Okay. Um, you can't really move out into the open like that when you're hidden, because you won't be hidden anymore. Oh, okay. Well, then I'll stay in the bushes. Yeah. Unless I just, well, I could mark a different guy, the other guy. Well. Uh, yep. You can, both of them yeah. are flying, and they're both. Both hanging off or flying or off the edge there. Let so me see we, if I can only have one mark at a time here. Uh, yeah, I'll just mark the other guy and then I'll pop out. Here. All right, so you want to mark this guy over here? Yeah, and then I got to do my... I was wrong earlier when I told you what, what I was supposed to roll. It's... um. Insight against deception. Mm -hmm. All right. You win. Yes. So you're against anything besides humanoids. Probably it's going to always work. Yeah, pretty close. All right. So you got him marked. Mr. Bohawk, you're up. Uh, still got a hunter's mark on the one that dropped Ralph, right? Yep. Yeah, and we're killing that bitch. That's a hit. Man. For seven plus, roll your hunter's mark. Um, um, um. Just click hunter's mark. All right, 11. You. All right, you hit it with the bow. And it drops a good 30, 40 feet as it re, 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 re catches the wind and flies back up towards you. But you fucked it up real bad. It's barely it's flying. <laughs> now, I can't, like, I can't send my panther after either one of them, so. No, you can, I mean, your panther could jump at this one, but it's the last attack he'll ever make. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm no. not sacrificing him before I've given no. him my name. Jump off the cliff. <sighs> Go to Shala. <laughs> what I am going to do is I'm going to send my panther to that doorway there to, to protect our cleric. I don't have a token yeah. for him, but he's... There you go. Hold right on, Max. Just put him right Ooh. in the doorway of the tower to protect our cleric. There you go. And I have one other question. Can Lori Spectral Weapon fight in the air? Could she have attacked one yeah. of them things? Yeah, it flies. Next time, make sure you get that final shot. I forgot to use it last turn. Yeah, yeah. Give me a second here. I'm going to give you control of this panther. I wish I wasn't sick so I could actually do a voice and try to actually be in character, but man, my face just hurts. So you're getting the, the nasal pops today. Sorry. <laughs> so what's up? Who's next? Who do we got? All right. Now let's see. The next Terra Folk is this one that's up here he comes comes flying back up across the, he comes flying back up the 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 cliff and as he flies past you pops he attacks you with the multi attack yeah. tries to bite you and it says two claws at you oh, oh. <laughs> that's gonna hurt didn't kill me again uh oh <laughs> oh, fuck. So the first claw hits you for eight. 
The second claw hits you for... Oh, man. <laughs> so, again. <laughs> so that's that's enough to knock you down. I'm dead. Oh. So, mostly dead. Uh, not quite dead. I thought you had one left. It's actually negative two toward dead. If oh, that's yeah. Yeah, use a zero. <laughs> that's pretty dead to me. Uh, 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 you are up. All right, I'm going to move. Can now this one that just attacked uh, pops? Can I attack yeah. it, or do I have to like th throw it with the javelin? You can throw a javelin to hit it, or you can move over to the edge of the cliff and hit it. Okay, I'm going to move over then. And I'm going to. What do I have to move my hunter's mark? Or yes. How do I do that? Do I just hit the spell again? No, you just say you want to move it to which one, and then tell me which one you want to move it to. I'll just tell you. I just want to move it to that guy that I'm attacking. Okay. Roll your two hit. All right. Seven is still too low to... So you even get it with a plus four, so you missed. Dang it. All right, Ben, you hear someone in the room with you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just try one more break free. All right, roll your strength. Nice. Double 20s. You fucking, you, you pull against your arms and the ropes start to give way, start to give way, and then as soon as you, as soon as the ropes snap on your arms, you just reach down real quick and untie your feet, which were basically just wrapped around. It was just wrapped. It wasn't tied very well. Okay. So you're free. All right, I pull the bag off my head, and I guess I see this uh, room here, and uh, a vision of godliness stands a before A vision you. of godliness. Yeah. Uh, well, I literally look up at her and say, Hello there. Hello there. <laughs> Hello there. I knew that was coming. <laughs> <laughs> and I stand. I guess I stand up because yeah, I don't know if I can still stand up. Is that a free action? So yeah. Yeah, you're, you're good. Standing up takes half your movement, though. Okay, and I mean, I'm not really going anywhere. I guess like I'll look around for my belongings and that sort of thing, and and get myself together. That's what I'll do with my turn. All right. Yep, your belongings are pretty much just laying next to you. They're over here. Okay, uh, let me uh, let me practice this here. There you, all right, go. There you go. You snatch up all your stuff, and then that'll be your turn. Okay. Zaka's gonna attack this big guy here. Oh, she hits him twice. Nice. Damn. It slashes him up real good. She really wants that mask. Yes, yeah, she did. does. And then that thing's going to attack back. And it misses every single time, so she deflects everything it sends at her. Ping, ping, ping. She is determined for that mask. Yeah, she is. Luz, you see the guy do an amazing feat of strength and snap the ropes that are holding his arms, and then he pulls the bag off his head, tells you hello, and rolls over real quick to grab his stuff off the ground and stands up. So you're standing next, or standing across from you about 10 feet away is a robe, gentleman. Do you have your robe, your hood up or not? Yeah, yeah. I, I, the chain mail, I imagine, is underneath my regular clothes. So, yeah, I just kind of yeah. look like a, a picture you see there. Yep. Well, hello, sailor. Of course, I'm a pirate. So. Hello, sailor. Are you going to help us kick these guys' asses? Because we're, uh, we're ready to get the heck out of here. So, um, are you with us or are you against us? I'd say for now, I'm with you. 
Well, hold on a second. I gotta heal somebody's ass because they're bleeding out. So I'm going to cast. Let's see. I really don't want to go back out there, but I should. Hmm. No, there's two still out there. No, I'm gonna cast Healing Word on um, Pops. New Pops again. All right, roll. Give him some. Uh, Nice. You're not dead. You're not dead. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm also going to move my, um, my weapon. Let's see. Okay. Where do I want to move it to? I'm going to move the weapon. Hold on. I got to move I'm going to put fly. it between Balinor and the other one. It can fly. With the shot. Yeah, that's true. It can fly. Let me show you where I want, like right here. Okay. And we're going to attack the one um, right next to Azaka. This one right here? Yeah. Yes, sir. All right. Ready, spiritual weapon. Go. Miss. That's a total right. miss, too. <laughs> it misses Close and hits feet. the ground. It misses and hits the ground near Balinor's feet, which causes the... the uh, I knew that the, was coming. The thing to crumble away. Balinor, roll dexterity save. <laughs> Kill people on our team. Kill people on our team. All right, you're good. All right, you're good. Uh, the hits the ground. The stuff. The stuff. The stuff. Ooh. I think someone has their uh, roll twenty stuff on us. Johnny. 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 Yep. Johnny, just make sure you look for uh, your uh, speed charts to reconnect me because you sound like crap. Sound like crap. Jump back and go back in. Just hit refresh yeah. on your screen. Yeah, I was like, oh, don't talk to anybody. <laughs> Some sound effects I could use on my channel. I don't know. It's just, you know. <laughs> You're going to have to let him back in when he shows up, Pops. Oh. Is that better? Yeah. Yep, way better. Hermes, you are up. Okay, which one is hurting? I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna sh just shoot the one that's next. This to one's, Yeah. This one's really hurting. He's the one that you've got marked, and yeah. everyone's got this thing marked. All right. Well. Well. Uh, sure. I'll. I'll okay. <coughs> You're still in the bushes, right? Oh um, no! I popped out, and then I uh, I marked both uh, the second okay. guy. All right. Nice That's shot. a hit. Nice kick. Wow. He's, you can get rid of that one. He's floating away. Yeah. You uh you pull down and land on top of Ralph. <laughs> yeah. Ralph's dead body. <laughs> you see, you see you, you you let go of the short bow, <laughs> it connects with the thing's eye socket, it hits it right in the eye, and the thing just kind of <laughs> all the way down. Makes and, like an imprint on the ground, like Wiley e. Coyote. And it lands on, lands on, uh, lands on old Ralph's body. Yeah, <laughs> Ralph, extra dead. Yay! Uh, sorry. <laughs> so that one's dead. Let me make sure I get rid of it out of the train of the order. All right, Mister um, Bohawk. Or what do you want to do, with Hermes? Anything else? I don't think I have anything. Well, I can use. I don't think I can use my extra thing to um, do a. I can like do a reading on people to see their intent. Yeah, let's save that for after the fight. <laughs> okay. All right. So that's it for you. Yeah. I just have that other guy still marked anyway. Balnor, or hold on, Did I miss. Uh, I miss Mr. Bohawk. Yeah, Pops, you're up. 
Um, I was going to first grab Balinor and pull him back away from the edge a little bit. Okay. And, and do Balinor, do you let him do that? Well, I don't know. Do, I, I mean, I guess I don't know. <laughs> Since I made my dexterity, I'm out of the way anyway, right? Well, you yeah. didn't move. You oh. look like you're standing on the edge to me. So I wanted to either get you away okay, from me. Okay, let me get back. Okay, I'll, I'll go back with Pops then. Yeah, there All you right. go. And then I'm going to Hunter's Mark that, that last one. And then I'm taking a shot with the longbow. Do it. Do it. That's it. For three no. plus roll your Hunter's Mark. I did. It was a six. Oh, my bad. So that's nine. All right. That arrow sinks directly deep into this thing's chest, but it continues to fight on. God damn it. You bitch. Now it's Balinor's turn. Stick it. Kill Finish it. it. Yeah, I will Finish be doing the hunter's it. mark on it, and I will be hitting it. All right. Let me move the hunter's mark. Finish him. Finish him. Okay. Do it. Do it. Let them see. Long sword roll. Roll a D4. You need a three or more. It didn't go through. What is it? Isn't it just roll D4? Forward slash roll D4. Roll 1D4. Boom. So it's just like I put, but don't put the period in front of it. That's exactly what I... Well, here... I just used that diagram up there. Yeah, the one on the left. Right, guys. No, there, I thought there, was, there, there needs to be a space. Hit I, I didn't. You hit it. Good job. So, roll your damage. Woohoo! Get it, get it, get it. Nice. That should, roll your, roll your hundred marks damage. There's three or what? Oh. That's what? Just click your hundred mark. It should be in your. You're if you're underneath your longbow or under your longsword, hunter's mark. Six, nice. That should be a kill. It should, she could have been, but it doesn't kill it. <laughs> I did the most damage oh. I could, almost. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh, I did a lot of damage too. What's this one yeah, super strong or what? Yeah, this is the this is the leader of the Terra folk. Okay. Ah, and he was so the last not... one to join the fight too. Remember, he was up top screeching. Everybody else joined the fight, and he was flying around. Oh, so he's upper management. Yeah. 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 So <laughs> you hit him, and you hit him deep. It gashes right into his leg, real, real, real deep. You see the meat coming, hanging out of his side of his leg. And everything as the blood starts to pour down the ground. It squeals as it screeches into the air really loud to the point where it almost hurts your ears. And then that's it for you. Good job. That's a good hit. All right, Ben. Uh, I guess what I'll do is I'm going to sort of shimmy my way out here, uh, the fearful oh, of that. the panther. Sure. Um <laughs> come right about let's see i think i can move yeah six spaces right yeah and you can move through them so you're fine and uh i'm going to hit the guy flying away screeching with ear piercing noise with a magic missile as he flies off all right there's no escaping here uh so how does that work do i just, just click magic missile okay and it'll, it'll do the damage for you and two is enough to kill it <laughs> thank god Oh, so you hit it with, so you guys see this robed, robed figure come out, moves his fingers around, a piece of white light flies past him and impacts the, 
the terra folk which causes it to fall, 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 fall to its death. And you all have gained. Uh, let's see, there was one, two, three, four, five of them. So it's a thousand experience points. Woohoo! Divided by how many people are here? One, two, oh. three, four, five, six. We'll just say 200 apiece for everybody. Woohoo! Yeah. So 1495. That's what I'm at. Yep. Yep. Three easy payments. That's what everyone should be at. So Ben, make sure your experience points is 1495. Whoa. <laughs> I, okay, that doesn't make any sense, but all right. Well, it's just it's you're level three already, so we gotta have you. You just have to be around the same level as us, otherwise you're gonna die. Fair enough. <laughs> So if you started at the beginning, it's like, well, is, he took one is, hit. Does started. anybody mind if I sit over here and bind some wounds? I actually, uh, I can uh, co go over there to you and uh, do the old uh, put the hand on the forehead things and cure wounds. Yeah. I can do actually, I was going to do the same thing for dealing with the battle because I'm standing next to him. I'm, I'm like begging because so I mean all, 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 all of you guys need some healing so I think we should just pass it around and heal everybody it's a good yeah. gesture on my part I'm fine I didn't get touched oh okay I don't I didn't get it I didn't get she's it hurt. it's just I'm hurt. the guide, yo. It's it's guy you we need help and Bohawk is hurt <laughs> all right so, everybody do their thing who's healing who I'll heal what? the I'll heal the cleric I'm doing Claire doc. He's right next to me. I'm not hurt. The cleric is fine. It's just oh. me and the guy. I usually run around and hide from all the. <laughs> okay. I position myself so I don't get hurt usually, so that I'll way you guys don't have to worry about me. But I'll I can heal Zaka as well. Yeah. well. Who went all first? Right. So Ben heals pops. So roll your roll your heal real fast, real fast before we do any of this medicine rolls. <laughs> it's, not, it's not letting me click it. You're clear, you're, there might be something wrong with my spells, I think. All right, hold on. Because it still says zero out of three, you know, that whole spiel. Let me find your character. Hold on real quick. I will fix it. I mean, I can pull up a, a 1d8 and roll it, I guess, until we figure that out. Yeah, mine's kind of, mine's only showing cow trips for some reason. So you heal pops for six. Okay, cool. So, and I just, I just, clicked the, I just clicked the cure wounds. So I, oh, you know what? It was a pop-up window. I didn't see my character sheet was blocking it. That's my uh, uh, the casting level. Yeah, I won't forget that next time. Oh, uh, you're good. Who else needs to heal the Zaka? Heals pops for six, so I'll add six to pops. I did. I just did seven. All right, healed seven to who? To Zaka? The guide or the pops? I did pops. He was standing next okay. to me. Okay. okay. I'm up to 18. I should be okay. So heal her and heal we'll be her. on our way. All right. Cool. I'll do cure wounds to her. Okay. Heal for 10. All right, so she's pretty well healed up. You guys are pretty good. Uh, standing before you is a man in brown robes. Simple he's, looking. Yep, he did help you finish off the the last Terra folk. And uh, Azaka, first thing she does is run into this room. Uh, say she's thanks, good. thanks for the uh, assist in the heel there, friend. I'm Mister Mister Bohawk. It's a pleasure to meet you. I feel like I owe you my life. Uh, well, we, at least you came out and, and and helped us keep your life. You know, it's the least I can do. We had. I'm going to walk up to you and offer my hand, and I'll say I'm Belinor Belt Bloodbane. Uh, I'll I'll return the favor and tell you my name is Ben Alduin of the Alduin Knights. You're a knight. 
I was. Long story for another time. I was going to do my thing to see how, uh, like, to check his trustworthiness. All right. Mm -hmm. Inside of 16, roll your charisma. Ben? Oh, okay. I didn't know that was me that rolls the charisma counter roll yeah. there. That's going to do well. Got a great charisma. Uh, there we go. Well, it doesn't matter. You're not trying to lie. So Right, I mean, right. <laughs> he, he's, he's very, uh, he's, he, his, his intentions are pure. Okay. <laughs> My charisma is negative one, by the way. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> that explains your actions just now. Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, bind the rest of my wounds up so I can get all my hit points back. That's okay. All right. Roll medicine. Thank you. All right. Roll D4. Uh, one D4. How many more are you needing? Three. I'm Hold just on. I think this dog has to fucking poop or something. I'll be right back. Is, is that two hit right points for me? Yeah. Yep. Okay, then I'm good. I'm in 20 of 21. I'm okay. Well, Pops, I gave you 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I thought you gave me 7. I did my hands and healing word. Oh, all right. I didn't see the, so you're up. the 7. All right. You're feeling hey. real good. Center oh, and you're cool. ranging on a paladin. I'm thinking at this point we're going to start fighting back to back is what we're going to do. <laughs> Right. I mean, I like, I don't mind shooting arrows over your shoulder. I told you that. <laughs> Just got to aim high. I'm like 6'4, dude. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Under your arm. <laughs> that was Just keep that a, sword yeah. high. Keep it's that sword arm high. Right. <laughs> Need something to drink. Yeah, I hadn't, uh, I hadn't gotten into any of that detail. I keep clicking on bios and info, and it's like it's not giving me anything but the picture that I have. So I'm not sure what's going on here. Go to core. Yeah, and then bio. I go to oh, duh. Core is your character sheet. That's your. I see it. I, you know what? I'll... If you guys set it up like this, you can see the map. You can see your character sheet. You can see the chat without ever having to close a window. You see what I'm oh, saying? Yeah, because then see. Yeah, well, like you hit bio, like for me, I'm like 247 medium size, age 19. Oh, we're the same age. As a matter of fact, I think, yeah. Cool. I'll, I mean, well, I'll figure it out. Really I on. We, we got a little break while Max is gone. Let me play a couple trailers for people. Let's let's check out... Uh, yeah, let's check out Murray's new one. Let's check out Murray's. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm a setting sun, but I'll never run. I'm a dead man walking. I'm a dead man walking. I will stay and fight as long as I'm alive. I'm a dead man walking. I'm a dead man walking. Music. 
Love that jam. Good stuff. I can relate with that song. I know. I was like, we're going to get along, dude. <laughs> Probably. Like, my story is all about that, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I was, listen, I was listening to an audio book and a sample literally said, this is a story about a girl who just wants to kiss a dead guy. And I was like, oh, that's a sample right there. It's all over the channel. All right. So, Ben, Ben, how do you find yourself, ben, how do you find yourself uh, tied up at the top of the tower here, bro? Oh, man. All right. You just put me on the spot there. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we want to well, know who you are. Bro. Don't king shame him. This invisible person. Um planted me there out of nowhere uh, i was just walking around uh let's just say i was uh traveling uh trying to trying to find other knights to warn them what happened and uh i got snatched from the air and uh carried here okay. i actually have no idea all right so uh we came up here to help that lady who just ran into the tower um recover a artifact that she was that was stolen from her that's how we all ended up here just so okay. we're all on this, you know, we all know our intent and the reasons for being at the top of this gruesome tower with all these bones of dead people, and, you know, um, that's why we're here. Well, I offer my assistance in any way that I can help. Cool, cool. So we got us a, a, a new party member, it looks like, guys. Yeah. Yes, let's go have a drink, Sailor. Oh, well, first let's yeah. check on the Scaro. Right? Actually, I, yeah, I'm kind of curious to the yeah. formal knife. What exactly happened? Let's find Azaka and see what she, if she found her mask, right? Yeah. Who is good charisma? Me? I got charisma 14. So, I got 19. Should we have Go talk to her. Hey, in, hey. In, in there, hey. maybe short rest? Go ask Azaka if she found her mask. Let's see if she found it because then we can continue on to our regular uh, mission here. We can get paid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to do like a scan of the room with. All uh, right. One second. I'm not going back in there. Okay. Definitely not going back in that room. <laughs> it's okay. You can stand here by me. Inside the tower are crude nests and four moldy wooden chests. The chests aren't locked. And you see, if you come into the room, Azak is in one chest and she's got a wrapped up, it's like wrapped in cloth and she pulls it, or pulls it around. And it's a mask, a wooden mask resembling a stylized tiger's face. Ooh. And she claims it immediately. She's like, finally, I have it back. Oh, thank you so much. I, was, I never thought I'd ever see this again. Glad we so, can help. There are three yeah. other treasure chests in this area, which she doesn't even seem to give a shit about. Oh, I'll, uh, I'll pop one open after... Checking the traps. <laughs> okay. There's no traps on any of them. Good deal. And let me see here. Let me just copy and paste this down. It's all together. They hold this. Whoo. We got 2,000 copper pieces, 730 silver pieces. Four gemstones worth 50 gold pieces each, and a spell scroll of commune with nature. Ooh. Um, I just want to say that Ooh. I will forfeit mostly all of my treasure ever, my portion, if we, if we can do go find that flying uh, thing soon and possibly uh, spend my dream to fly since I'm a wingless bird. Yep. So... I'm willing to give up like my portion of treasure and if if uh if I can possibly have that. Okay. I feel bad. You get what I mean? Okay, uh, taking so we're all any down. I, I just want to point out we're all down to two gourds of bug repellent now, right? Yeah, I was gonna say how much bug repellent we got left before 
we might need to go do some things and then uh, then go back and find the flying thing for Tobias. Yay. Or at least we need to find need a shot. One more. We're going to need one more gourd to get back to town and we'll probably have to buy more of that stuff before we move on. So keep that in mind. Um, what was the split on all this stuff? However you guys want to split it, that's what's available. Well, let's just split the money equal like we always do. I tell you what, I'll take the 50 gold and a gemstone. <laughs> well, there's only, there's, there's four gemstones and each it gemstone says, is worth 50 gold pieces. Each. Oh, I saw, okay, my bad. I misunderstood that. I get it now. Forget what I just said. All right, who's been holding our stuff to, to that we have to sell? Might be me, but I'm the rogue, so that means you guys gotta trust me. <laughs> yeah, that's so an oxymoron. Right. <laughs> well, I'm not a rogue. I'm a tro I'm a, I'm an explorer. I'm an ar ar archaeologist. I just happen to be able to unlock shit and. Right. <laughs> well, whoever's carrying our loot needs to pick up. Well, I got some of it because I got three of the bug repellent. And the oh, whole, and one of the healing the healing potion. So I have yeah, some as well. Yeah, that's all I got too. I don't bug have repellent. Okay. Yeah. Do you need a bug repellent? Uh, I mean, I'm not even sure what that is. Um, well, you can have one of mine for now, then. Yeah, you need bug repellent because you can catch diseases from the mosquitoes. Okay. Should I just add a bug repellent here? Yeah, put it in your character sheet under on the. I can't on find the, where I have any gold at all. Where'd my money go? Oh, there it is. Okay, I got seven gold and seven silver. All right. Yeah. Book repellent. So if you wanna, if you wanna split this evenly, there's six characters. So we have to wait till we sell them. Right? Well, here's a good question, Max. Technically, do I need it now that I'm third level? Because I have divine health, which means I'm immune to disease. Yeah, you don't need it. I mean, I can go. I mean, I can hold it, but I can, I can carry it for whoever needs it. Yep. Everyone gets three hundred and just say three hundred and fifty silver copper pieces. Okay. Okay. Are we splitting up other silver? Everyone gets a hundred, hundred and twenty silver pieces. And then there's four gemstones, and there's six of you, so you got to figure it out. I'll four for well, the gemstones. Well, is that how many copper? 350. How about everyone besides me, as a token of trust, takes a gemstone? I want a gemstone. I'll take it. Yeah. I'll, I'll forfeit mine that way. Yeah, you guys can all have one. And Pops, that scroll would probably be good with Pops since he's a naturey type of dude. And the what? There's What's like a, a spell scroll of commune with nature. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. that's probably good for Pops. He can talk to animals. Yeah. As long as they're not trying to eat you. Okay, that, that was my <laughs> suggestion, by the way. Or all they say is hungry. Like, mm -hmm. hey, what's your name? Hungry? That's probably not a good sign. <laughs> and Azaka says, "Thank you for helping me find my mask. As I promised you, I will now be your guide for indefinitely." Yes, that's awesome. Yes, cool. Unless you die. Well, she's tougher than we are, guys. Yeah, she did a lot of damage too. She uh. She can take a crap ton of damage too. Like yeah, she's pretty. Possibly. She's pretty he's badass. Possibly. He's twelve. You know, twelve times what he takes, and she's just walking it off. Walk it off. Walk it off. Be a man. She's pretty badass. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I like I like the way she operates. Yeah. You're kind of a little bit partial though, Max. So you know. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> and it was Ralph. What are we doing, guys? Are we gonna spend the night up here? I think that okay, is a good bad idea. Um, well, I don't know. I mean, th th we got here at the morning, so I mean, we've probably only yeah. been up for uh, an hour. It's only a twenty-minute flight. Yeah. I mean, we only got twenty. I mean, yeah. I mean, we, I, we're not, I don't think we're going to sit here all day. No, I'm, I'm, ready, I'm, ready, I'm, ready, I'm ready to hoof. I mean, but, I don't uh, want to yeah, sit here amongst did all the fans. Um, Wait, did you ben, open all the chests in the room? Yeah, that's what okay. was in them. 
Got ben, it. you know from experience from being here for the last couple of days that there's a lot of Terra folk that come up and down on this area, so they're gonna be there's gonna be more here eventually soon. Yeah, we need to go. Yeah, I'll say that we should we should get moving. There will be more. Okay. And then greater numbers. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. All right, I'm jumping in a hole, guys. You guys know how this goes. All right, right. so you're going back down to the yeah, bottom of the... Do we need to okay. roll anything to go back down? Nope. All right. Little five fingers done. Let me pull up. Let me move you guys to the base of five finger again real quick. I can mimic the screech that one guy did now. Yeah, you can. Uh... How do I get the map to pop out for me? Because all everybody's little pictures are covering it up for me, making uh, scroll, it kind of difficult. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Oh, okay. I see. Oh, we're here now. All right. So you're at the bottom of the. The fire finger. Let me pull up the map. Shit, now my roll 20 just froze. Oh. So did mine. Yep. Oh. oh. Max was paging it up on us. It still froze, though. It won't large. It's, it's, still, it's still loading. Give it a minute. Whoa. This is All blowing right. my mind. This is awesome. So you guys are at Firefinger, which is here. So you're going to take the river back up north to Port Nyansaru. You got barely enough bugs repellent to get through with Balinor's stuff that he's carrying, which he doesn't need anymore. Okay. Can we get to the town of Mesro? Is there stuff there that you know would be beneficial? There's only one town in this area, and that's Port Nyanzaru. Everything else is a ruin or... Mm. Hmm. We'd have to go all the way back, guys. Yeah, but you there's go no back. other way to. Yeah. I mean, if we don't have bug repellent, then it's, we're not going to make it. We we already knew that. We made that plan when we came up here. We we're coming up here and then going back to town so we can right, well, loot, get, get more job. stuff, you know, and then go on. Where's the where's the Rabineo. where's the flying thingy at yeah. supposed to be? Uh, the flying thing. Who told you about that? I'm forgetting. The, the bird, the bird dude. The guy that took off. Oh yeah. Okay, hold on. Let me look it up. Rule three. Uh, characters oh, that are grateful before departing urges the characters to visit Sir Kir Sabal. I'll write it down real quick. <laughs> Okay, we're in Chult. I'm familiar. Okay. That's not like uh, close. They said like at the end of the river is what that's what my note says. Visit Kersabal and petition Asaka to perform the dance of the seven winds. This dance, it says, is part of a magical ritual that grants non flying creatures the ability to fly. Curse the ball is right here. And where were we again? We're in the we're fire right here. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's not too bad, guys. Cool. That's not too, too bad. And the where are we going, like, our main quest? Um, well, your main quest you're looking for... Uh, the the soul eater or the soul monger and you don't know where it is yet so i mean you're just kind of beginning your trip into chult right now 
Basically, aren't we just trying to find clues to where this guy is? Yep. Okay. Well, now that Good we know her and she's with us permanently, she can help us go around and. Uh, <coughs> as, as, as Zaka can help you. Yeah. As, as Zaka can definitely get you to care Sabal. And then I say we go for it. You want to go to Kirsten Sabal first, or do you want to go back to Port Niagara? Um, okay. We need to go back to Port to get more bug repellent. Otherwise, yep. we're going to get stuck out there and get killed. All right. So the next three days, I rolled a d20, and you got nothing. So the next three days is a pretty calm, relaxing time. Everyone's healed up 100%. So if you're hurt, make sure you're, you heal yourself. You pull into the the docks that are along the side of the thing where you got the boat to begin with. The guy thanks you for your patronage, and you walk back to Port Nyanzaru. It takes about a day. Let's see if you get anything else. Nine, so you don't get anything on the way back. So it's a, it's a very... Um, Uneventful trip back. Let's Good. Take a look here. Didn't try to pet any dinosaurs. <laughs> I have a panther now. I'm good. Leave me alone. You can pet the panther. There you go. I have a panther now. I'm, I have I have an animal to come in with, and I don't need. We do got to name this guy though. He he did pretty good. We got to give him. Fluffy. I'm trying to find the map of the city. Um. Beholder there, token page, goblin and Lord Camp. Hey, later on. I got it. We're gonna call him Slash. That's a good name. That's a pretty good name. We're gonna call him Slash. Just give him a top hat and we're good to go. <laughs> awesome. That's is. not the slash I was thinking, but yeah, that'll work. <laughs> That's the slash I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> No, oh, Rocky just got mad. What did you mean you didn't name him Rocky? What? <laughs> it's a dog. It's a cat. Uh oh. I want to thank everybody that tunes in for our little adventure. You guys rock. Um, yeah, yeah. Check out the sponsors and go support everything those guys are all doing because it all rocks. It's all good stuff. All right, so I'm going to read this again because uh, Ben hasn't heard it. So, you appear in a tropical city under a blazing sun. The familiar sounds of the harbor, creaking ropes, slapping waves, and heavy barrels rolling across cobblestones mingle with voices shouting and cursing in an unfamiliar language full of clicks, inhalations, and sing-songy words that make it sound almost musical. The aroma of unfamiliar spices and tropical fruit mixes with the wharfside smells of fish, tar, and canvas. Beyond all that, Port Nyanzaru is an explosion of color. Buildings are painted in bright shades of blue, green, orange, and salmon pink, or their walls are adorned with murals portraying giant reptiles and mythical heroes. Every building sports baskets and clay urns of colorful flowers or is draped in leafy flowering vines. Minstrels in bright clothing adorned with feathers and shells perform on street corners. Multicolored pennants and sun awnings flutter atop the city walls. A crowd of children dressed in feathered hats and capes races past you, squealing in delight, delighted terror as a street performer costumed as a big tooth lizard stomps and roars behind them. The whole city seems to be bustling, sweating, laughing, swearing, and singing. Can cool. I screech? Can I screech at the performer like the Terra folk guy? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Why? Stop it! <laughs> Don't mind yeah. him. He's just hungry. Wow. <laughs> screech at him, and he screeches back. Like, can I even smile as a bird folk? Like, what? Uh, I, I don't know. I guess so. You can have the little, little Muppet smile where you open your mouth a little bit and tilt okay. your head back. <laughs> His smiles are scary. I guess I could. I guess I could laugh. <laughs> okay. And you guys are coming in on this section of town, right here. 
Where at? Oh, okay, I see. I see. Yep. So Pops Fallout avatars covering it. There we go. So good. Let me find the city. Locations in the city. So you are coming up against. Right here, these things are the dinosaur pins. Most of the beasts of burden in the city were trained out here, and they are pinned up at night. Ankylosauruses and Triceratopses are the most common in that role. Dinosaurs trained for street racing are also stabled here. Most Chilton handlers have a plus five bonus to animal handling skills. They work with the same animals day after day. So, wow. You Where guys are that on the map? I didn't see right here. Okay, so we can rent a dinosaur? You can. You may that not is... go eat one. Let's just put it there. You cannot rent it and then eat it. Mm. Mm. Okay. Down in this area. <laughs> well, that's interesting. That but is I interesting can eat a deal. part of it and then heal it. Hermes, no. <laughs> wow. Eat a little bit, now. heal it. Eat a little bit, heal it. <laughs> Eventually, he's going to get us killed, you guys. I'm just a saying. perpetual snack. He just wants to eat a dinosaur. That's like one of his goals. I want to eat know. all the dinosaurs. I want to <laughs> try every dinosaur meat. So if you're, if you're planning on going back to the market to buy more gourds of, uh, yes. of stuff, they're a silver piece a piece, as usual. You okay. can buy as many as you want. I'm going to take it mine are all gone now that we used on the way back, right? Yeah, everybody's just gone. They're all gone. Everyone okay. is, everyone's out. Is buying 20 ridiculous? No. Not that much money. He's like, nope. That's not I, a bad idea. I have 120 silver pieces, so. I think I'll buy 20 as well. I don't quite understand the bug repellent, but I don't need to. Pretty self-explanatory. So how much are they a piece? One silver piece per gourd. All right, I will also buy 20. Just stock up on it. Do we need to buy uh, rations too? Did you, oh. How much did you use? I'm not sure. I have ten. I had ten, but I don't remember okay. ever like. Yeah, you're gonna need to buy rations because it takes a ration a day. Oh well, then I'm really hungry. Let's just say that. I was gonna say <laughs> I started with two. It's probably not enough. Rations are expensive, though, if I remember right. Yeah, let me look it up. I think it's. I think they're a gold piece, or maybe five. I can't remember. Rash is one per day. Yeah, I'm Let's down to two. Say. I had ten. I'm down to two, it looks like. Yeah, I'm also at two. There are five silver pieces. For one day? Yep, for yeah. one day rations. Now, is that regular or iron? I mean, I mean, do we have the difference like they used to? No, it's just mm -hmm. rations. I remember them. They got expensive in 50. Uh I guess I'm gonna drop all my gold pieces on th three of them. That's just didn't we all just get a whole bunch of silver and copper? Come on, get a bunch of copper. What's the conversion yeah. rate? Ten copper one? is one silver. Ten silver ten is silver one is gold. gold. Okay, and it's five silver per each. Um, yep. If you spend all your copper, you get seven. Right. Yeah. Do okay, it. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll blow my copper and. Same. Get rations. Okay. Same. I can only get five, though, but still, same. Yeah. I'm going to get a bunch extra. Okay, well, we can always hunt. Add. It won't even let me add any. You can just always click hunt. on the number on the left and change it. Yeah, it's not letting me. That's what I'm saying. Oh. It, oh, oh, there you go. Okay. Nope. nope, not letting me change it. If we get rid of all our copper, you said we'd have seven rations? Yeah. All right. So you you need rations. And you had ten. And how many do you have now, pops? I have two. 
Two. I'm going to buy seven and spend all my copper. Okay, you're going to buy seven, so you'll have nine. There you I spent, go. I spent okay. half my silver to get ten more. All right, so just add them to your sheet. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I spent 200 copper to get two more, too. That'd be okay. four. One more. What was that conversion for this? For the silver to gold? Ten copper ten. is one silver. Ten, ten silver one is on one gold. Ten to one on everything. Silver and gold. All silver. right, I'll grab some more, too. I got extras in case anyone runs out. Zaka that... picks some up as well. Skill only like, says I have two though. How do we change right, it? I just, I just, I just changed it to oh, have you two nine. 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 Okay. What's what's the number on the other side then? I think the weight. The, the weight. weight. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's. I was trying to change the number on the other side. That's the problem. Oh well, you can't do that. <laughs> Okay, by the way, everyone gets 250 experience points for showing up. So add that to your skills, to your sheet now. 250. 17.45. That was so quick, Matt. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I was like, I'm using a calculator. <laughs> <Yeah>. Well done, <laughs> sir. Well done. Me too. I just have mine up in the corner. Did you want to go straight out from the city, or did you want to grab a room for the night before you go back out? We still got an hour. Well, what time of day is it? Uh, let me tell you. It never hurts to get a room and have a drink. Uh, I was time. just going to say, though, we still got an hour to play, right? Yeah, it's night okay. time. Okay. Okay. Then definitely. Is there a good place for um, buying equipment here? Drinks, yeah. drinks, yeah. drinks. We have, uh, to go get, we have to go get bug repellent and stuff too, guys. Did we just do that? We just did that. Yeah, you I just did bug that. Bug rations. I bought rations. I didn't buy well, bug repellent. Well, buy, buy your bug repellent too, because you get it from the same place. How much was it? One silver. Bug one silver piece per gourd. Okay, I need to get two more then. I have twenty of them, so if anyone runs out. How can you be carrying 20 of them? They rattle all around you. They're gourds, dude. <laughs> dude, I want 20 as well. It's like when you stick them well, in I your mean, backpack. That's thing. They are going to have the weight, and most, depending on what your class is, is how much weight you can carry. Oh. Because carrying, yeah, ca yeah. carrying 20 of those as a thief is technically would slow you down. Yeah. Um, well, we don't uh, and hinder what you're doing. We went through this the first time we bought them, how you have to strap them to your belt. And they're going to make noise the more you have. We went through that the first time we bought these. That's why we only bought three. You know? Well, and that's why I was carrying them because I'm already making noise anyway because I'm a tin can. Is there some kind of bag I can get to put them in? You guys. You put them in your backpack. <laughs> I'm an idiot. What's up? I put the uh, the uh, numbers that I was buying, the amounts, in where the weight was, and uh, <laughs> completely screwed my whole self. I spent all my money on things I didn't need. Let's just say that. Uh, yep. Uh, Sitting well, on a lot of rations if anybody's hungry, guys. <sighs> all right, so this right here is called the Grand Souk. This is where you buy equipment. Okay, I was just going to say, put some of that money back and lower your ration total, dude. Just, you know. You know well, what, what's, my, what's my equipment total weight? Should be at the bottom of your equipment list. No, I mean, like, what, what can I carry? Your carry capacity is... Thank you, Pops. Mm -hmm. I'll figure this out. I'm not too worried about the carrying capacity as long as you're not, like, carrying a fucking dragon's egg or something. Okay. <laughs> so, should be good there. 
So did you want to go to the Grand Souk and try to buy some equipment? Yeah, we need we need um, bug repellent for sure. Well, you got bug repellent. Okay. So what else would we need? Where are we going next? Well, if he wants to go buy like swords or armor or <coughs> oh, okay. anything like that, he's got to go to the Grand Souk. I, I, I don't think we can afford anything, to tell you the truth, but we can go look. I've got 16 gold pieces. and then Yeah, I, got... I remember the prices last time we were looking, and it was like, oh, yeah, we ain't going to be shopping for a while. Remember? <laughs> what, did you, and what did you want to look for? Um, the is it studded leather armor or something like that. Okay. Or banded. I don't know, anything that's like not going to interfere with my dex. Studded leather costs 45 gold pieces and would it okay so what's the what's the armor class and stuff with that that's the studded leather is 12 plus your dex modifier so you, you still get your dex modifier with it and it doesn't okay so that would put me up to 15 ac then if i got it Let's uh, sell the four gold, this four gemstones, and give me that gold up so we can look at stuff. Yeah. All right. How so about you that? sell the gemstones? You don't got to give me any gold. I have a few things already. Like I said, I, I don't want to. I want to like earn your trust for the for the other item later. So. Hey Max, when you get a second, I'd just like to know what the price for plate armor is going to be. Like a thousand yeah. dollars. I know we don't have it, huh? Like a thousand dollars. So that's what I. There's my goal. Okay. Same. Everyone gets thirty-five gold. Okay, I sold my gemstone for and, and I have some gemstones too. Then I will sell. I have a golden car, carnelian ring, and then I got one person two. at a time. Let's let's. Yeah. One let's person. Switch. Max can only keep track of one person. All right. So, Pops, you're first on the list next to me. So what are you doing? You got 35 gold coins from your stone, your your gemstone. Okay, so that means I got 42 plus 12. I got like 54 gold, right? Okay. If I cash in my silver and everything, I got like 54 gold. So um, let's see. Let me get rid of that 12 and just put 54 over here, and we'll go from there. Okay, <laughs> that's 34. Damn it. Okay, fifty-four gold. Now, you said leather, studded leather is what? Forty-five. And what do I have? What do I have? I got light armor. It says light, medium, but it doesn't say what. It's like you're looking okay, at leather. Your... All right. So studded leather is a step up from that. Probably all I can afford. Right? Can't go no higher than that. Yep. And it's 45, so I have nine gold left. Go ahead and hook me up with some studded leather armor. All right, give me a second. I'll add a few things. If we divvy up all the gold first, then you'll have more money to spend on other on something better. We just possibly. did. We all got 35. Oh, I mean, I've got I've got some stuff to sell too that I would split up. All uh, right. I can, I can get 160 gold from what I have. Okay, now it says my AC is not correct. What do I up it to? Hold on. I'm fixing it. Okay. Okay. There you go. Your AC is 14 now. Ooh, it cost me 45 gold to go up one. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Staying alive is expensive. All right. Anything okay. else you want to buy, Pops? I don't think I have money left for anything. But now it just right. says I don't have no... What did it do? You oh, it's hey, Pops, real okay. quick here. Okay, I see. Are it. you needing arrows, Pops? Because I know you've been shooting the crap out of them. Um, I think I have a Fletcher skill. I think I make my own. Oh, cool. I didn't know. That's awesome. Yep. And then, okay, Laurie. I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't. I don't think um, going up three. I mean, I, my hit points. My armor class is thirteen. If I did studded leather, it would take it to sixteen, right? What's yeah. your dexterity modifier? My dexterity modifier zero. Yeah. So it would just be twelve. So it would go up one. 
Should I, should I bother you guys? Because really, I'm not... I mean... Uh, is there, I, is I can't there, help you there. Is there a other place I can spend money that would help me cast better spells? Or, you know what I mean? Like, how do I increase my... Um, my spell casting. Game levels. Yeah, you just move up. Well, so, with her being a with her being though, could she technically use her money if there's a place to sell like scrolls for when she's out of spells? Yeah. That is you a can thing. Buy scrolls. You okay. can definitely buy scrolls. They're, How much are scrolls? They're fifty gold coins per level. I don't have enough. So like a level one. Cure Light Wound spell would cost you 50 gold. But a healing potion is 25 gold, and it heals 2d4 plus 2. That's not a bad idea. Okay. Everybody should at least I have, have one. I have one healing potion already. I can add. I'll buy one. How much is that? 70 25. Right? Yep. I'm gonna buy one just to be safe. Okay. Okay, so I have 17 gold and I have two healing potions. That's where I'm at. I'm not gonna really invest in some armor right now until we get some more money. Just I don't wanna blow all my money on armor and it's only gonna give me one point. What's the point? I'm not gonna be in the heat of the battle. I'm gonna hide behind all of you guys anyway. <laughs> all right. Great. Tobias, what do you want to buy? Um, I'm gonna get that stud leather armor. Okay. And so, can I sell my old leather armor then? Yeah, you can sell your old leather armor. Let me see how much it's worth. Leather armor is worth ten gold, so they'll buy it for five. Okay, you, you, I'm, okay. I'm gonna do that too, real quick. <laughs> what was the name of this place? Vintage stock. <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> so I will have eleven gold pieces left. It's called after. Brute Squad Entertainment. Well, bullshit it is. <laughs> <laughs> do I can I update my um AC myself or are you gonna do it that? Does it, it does it for you when you add the leather armor to it, but I'll do I'll add your leather armor. Hold on. Okay, I just added it to my inventory. I'm not sure where it's Okay, so right here where I got where I'm highlighting on the right. Uh you yeah, I added I added it there, but it didn't change anything on the You've already got studded leather armor. I just changed it from leather armor to studded leather, so maybe I oh, fucked okay. up by doing that. No, it's got a 14 armor class. You're right. It should be. I, I was at 14, so it should be 15. Oh, okay. I, yeah, All I just right. changed the name of it, so that's probably where I screwed up. Okay, yeah. Here, let me get rid of this real quick. <clears throat> you sold that armor. Yep. So now let me put studded leather in your, your list. Bam. There you go. Now it's 15. And is there like any like bags of holding or anything like that anymore? There is bags of holding, but you got to find them or you, you can buy one, but they're expensive as shit. Oh, like hundreds of gold? Mm-hmm. Mm. Like 500, 600 Ain't gold. Ain't nothing going to be cheap. We're a low level, dude. Nothing's going to be cheap. Nothing. nothing. Is there something better than a short bow for... Um, Someone that's using decks. Longbows do damage like a little bit better, I think. Let me look. You have to have a different proficiency for long versus short, or is that the same one now with 5.0? Same one. Okay. Longbow does a D8. Shortbow does... One D six plus three. It says D six. Yep. So your longbow would do D eight, and your shortbow does a D six. All right. I'll I'll um I'll switch to that then. To a longbow. Yeah. How much is that? Hold on. I will tell you. Longbow is 50 gold coins. 50? Yep. 
Well, I have some treasure I can split up between everyone. I was trying to. Well, what do you got? I got what a gold, got? golden carnelian ring that's 60 GP and two, yep. onyx fi two onyx figures that are 50 GP a piece. All right, so you got 160 gold coins that you can spend, and then 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 you can share. I'll, I'll buy I the rogue. I'd buy the bow, and then I'd split the money up. Sure, I'll do that. So you buy the bow for 100 for 50. It leaves you with 110 for six people. So give me a second. What are you doing, Johnny? I'm not <laughs> trying to do anything, but my thing's popping on me. You keep hitting a button of some sort. Oh, sorry. They're, my sheet's looking weird for my attacks. I was trying to get it cleared. It's showing a plus five and a three for damage, but there's nothing in the slot, so I don't know what happened here. Hold on. Let me look at your sheet. You can do this. I'll, I'll just leave it alone until you get done. Yeah, there's nothing there. I don't know what that is. We're just to get rid of it. Get rid of that one. Get rid of that one. There you cool, go. thank you. Yep. So everyone gets 18 gold? Yep, everyone gets 18 gold coins. All right, I'm up to 32 again. Woohoo! Wow, that's very generous. Yeah. Thank you. All right. Let's roll. And I can, now, get the, I can shoot John, my longbow. Yep, you get your longbow. So here, let me add that to your sheet. And if I can sell the short bow or whatever, I'll do that. Yeah, give me a second. Short bow is. Now, one one other question: Do your hit points go up when your armor class goes up? No. Okay. Hit points go up when you get a level. All right, you get 12 gold coins for your short bow. Okay. And then... Uh, that's it for you, right? You're done? Right, um, hold on, yeah. I, gotta, I gotta put your longbow in, your, in yeah. your, your shit. Hold on. Let's get rid of your short bow. Where the hell is it? Here's your short bow. And then we'll add a long bow. All right, now you've got a long bow. Let's get rid of this short bow here. It looks like I had a duplicate somehow. Yeah. I can, probably, I can remove them. It's fine. Uh, get rid of the rapier. Use the restroom real quick. Two seconds, guys. Yep. Get rid of the dagger. All right. So you're good there. So, yep. Johnny. Yep. What do you want to buy? Um, I, real quick here. So can we fix that? You know that, that slot that was missing? I think yeah. that was my shield. Okay, hold on. Because I had a... I had a large shield. All right, hold on. This is why I kept attacking with the one hand. I'll be back in minute as well. Uh, I've added your shield. Let's make sure your armor class is now 18. Gotcha. Does that change the armor class automatically, or do you have to do that? It changes it automatically. Gotcha. And is there a difference in sizes, or is it just shield now? It's just shield now. Okay. I got to get used to the, like not having the medium, small, and all that yep. like we used to. Yep. 
Uh, um, so I got chainmail. What's the next armor above chainmail? Is play? I mean, I, I don't think I can afford anything past chain, can I? So chainmail. The next thing up is splint mail, and that's two hundred gold coins. Yeah, it'll be a bit. That's all. I, I'll just write that down. That way, I know. Okay. And you said how much was a longbow? Longbow is fifty gold coins. But I'm not. But I'd have to take a proficiency. I, because I, I'd have to t earn a proficiency for that, right? Uh, you've got martial weapons and simple weapons for your your thing, so I think it's you should be fine. Um. Okay, I'm going to get a longbow. <sighs> Okay. Plus, being a noble, I figure I probably did it all my life growing up anyway. All right, you've got a longbow now. All right. Do I need to go out and purchase arrows while I'm here, or does that come with it? Uh, you can, you can get arrows. Yeah. Arrows, bang. Now I've added arrows to your thing. You need to put however many you've got, which is probably 25. I've got that set up for you. Cool. You Thank you, sir. Arrows and a longbow. All right. Anything else? Um, I didn't have a dagger last time. I just wanted to get a dagger. Okay. Hold on. We didn't do that when we first set up the sheet. However much it costs for one. Yeah, I'm looking. It's two gold coins. Okay. Later on, Random. Have a good day, man. Thanks for Bye, Random, on. buddy. Thanks. Thanks, I'd say. And I've added the dagger to your sheet, so you're good there. All cool. right. Ben. Yes, sir. What do you think you want to buy? Uh, I am a humble man. I am good. All right. So you got the choice between the two, uh, the two places to stay for the night. You got the the, the party, what? raucous version or the the other version. I, I got one uh, one more thing I want to ask about before I leave this here store. Um, so, is there an upgrade to the hand axe, a hatchet, something like that? No, the hand axe is a hand axe. It's just thrown. Okay. Okay. Nothing I can upgrade as far as short sword or anything. Nope. I mean, you can get a long sword. Yeah, I don't need a long sword. Um, yeah. All right. So the two noteworthy inns are located in the Red Bazaar, which is right over here. And they have the Thundering Lizard, which is the raucous clientele. And a bed for the night there costs five silver pieces. Or there's Chaos House of Repose, which is much quieter, but a bed costs a gold coin. We gotta go to the party spot, guys. We gotta go to the party yeah. spot. I need to have a drink, please. Agreed. <laughs> All right. We have so an you, agreement. So you enter into the Thundering Lizard. It's nighttime. There's plenty of people in here. It's very loud. Lots of people talking. Minstrels are playing. There you can smell. Hey, Max, real quick. I got, just before we get crazy in here, I was going to yeah. do something before we got there. I was going to check on that horse, my horse, and make sure everything's all right. Is that something I can do on the way to this place? Yeah, because you. Okay, you, I just wanted to. It's stabled at the at the Thundering Lizard. That's where you had it stabled. Right. I just want to check on it before I walk in the place. Just. Yep. Everything's good. Okay. Uh, I'm going to buy everyone a drink. I need drink. Drink, drink. Let's drink. And I'll around for my new friends. Yes. You know, uh, uh, most most people, you know, it's like my split and ancestry makes it hard for me to decide between whether or not I want ale and wine. So give me one of each. 
That sounds great. All right, so you enter into the thundering lizard. It's full of people, very loud. You smell the smell of meat cooking, the smell of uh, lots of herbs and spices. There are people wandering around. There's barmaids getting their asses slapped. There's uh, all sorts of people in here just having a good, good, crazy time. And you wanted to buy everyone a drink? Yes, sir. And a wine. Yeah, not the whole bar. <laughs> yeah. All right, that'll be six silver pieces for the whole thing with the wine and the beer. I give them ten. All right. The guy at the, the bar is like, looks, his eyes get kind of big, and he's like, well, thank you, friend. Anything I can do for you tonight while you're staying here in our in our luxury accommodations? Uh, I, with my new friends. Uh and we're looking for a room. Or two. A room, room you got. If you, you, your room is five silver pieces a piece. So there's two beds in each room. So you guys can we need have three. your own. Or you can split it up however you want to do it. doesn't matter to me. As long as the money's good, it doesn't bend when I bite it. Buy one room and whoever can share with me. Just not the bird, man. this new sailor. Just not the bird, man. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a thing against terror folk now. He's like, the things that fly and cause me trouble. <laughs> a little bit of trauma. Uh, I'm, I'm giving up five silver pieces, and I'll get a room with the bird, man, since everybody's afraid of the bird, man. All right. You like animals. So <laughs> one more person needs to buy a room. I'll buy a room. Soccer. Okay, so... It's Balinor, Balinor, and Asaka. It's Tobias and Lori and Pops. No, Pops and Tobias. I thought it was just Ben. It's Ben and Lori. Rut row. And that's how it goes. So, so me and the night, right? X night? No, you're staying with. Uh, the Azaka, you're staying with the guide. Oh, oh, the guide. Okay, I thought oh, the guide. Well, would be, I thought <laughs> the ladies would get a room together, and the rest of us would figure it out. That's kind of well. You know, it wrong. that doesn't work when I have a 19 charisma. Is that how that works? <laughs> Fair enough. That's all based so, on the charisma roll. Somebody's guys, having a good time tonight. You guys party the night away, enjoying yourself back in the city. It's almost it almost feels like this is a party for you. After you start getting a little bit liquored up, you start feeling like this is almost a party for your return to the city. Um, you get nice and tanked, have a good time, cool, and head to your beds and crash out until the next morning when you hear the birds chirping and the dinosaurs working outside, wandering around, going raw. <laughs> wow. That is that not breakfast. That is not your breakfast. You awake? No hangovers? We good? I got a nope, hangover. Good. I, I would request everybody to put their character name up under their up under their avatar so that I remember their character name and can call them by it. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. I'm not sure how to do that though, but yes, I will totally just do that. like edit, edit your name. You just click on the the little three the dots, little, the little wheel. Three dots next to your name. No, I mean like oh. right down, I mean the stream yard. So that oh, stream I'm, yard. Oh, okay. the stream yard. Yeah, oh. so that where I'm looking, I see. You're right. I see it. Names I, I didn't know that. There we go. <laughs> Clever. Yes. Like, I need Hermes and Balinor and Ben and I don't even remember what you're calling yourself, Lori. That's the problem. Liz, Liz, Liz Butcher. I don't remember. How do you change it now that we're in here? Hmm? The three dots. There we go. I got it. Yeah. There you go. All right. Yeah, much better. Now, if I can get Hermes and Balinor, I'd be good. No, I'm trying to find the freaking three dots. Oh, right down, a, down there by your name, dude. Down the bottom screen. 
They're yeah, talking about your the, three dots. They're, they're, they're talking about it in in in, in uh, stream yard. Right. Stream yard. I'm in my stream yard screen. No, where your name Johnny Reed is, just change it, dude. So there's the in main stream screen yard. that you see everybody, and then below that, there's like where everybody's kind of like backstage. Your little screen, and there's three dots in the upper right hand. Corner. Oh, sorry. I, let, I got it. There we go. My bad. I had my my screen shrunk. Uh, I went ahead and changed my avatar in the roll twenty two's name, so it's covered. Yeah, you're good. There you go. Now we need a Hermes. Hermes. Hey, Hermes. <sighs> So you guys wake up, it's probably about 9.30 in the morning, you drink, you slip off your, your partying, and you're, 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 you're somewhat, somewhat rested because, you know, you partied for quite a while. Yeah, yeah. And you're, you're Just for the record, rested. I probably didn't party very much, Max. My yeah. character doesn't drink, I, really. Yeah. I did all your drinking for you. <laughs> That's probably true. And I probably got up early, and I'm probably waiting out front with the horse. <laughs> I can hold my liquor, though, so I'm perfectly fine. All right, so we want to start heading to Kir Sarbala, or whatever it's called. Yes. yes. All right. Earlier the better. So let's get to the map of, this, of the overland again. Okay, so how do you want to get there? You can take a boat down the river and cut across the. Well, either way, we got to cut across. We cut across here, or we cut across yeah, down there. Cut across here. I mean, you can basically go down river to Firefinger. Yeah, and then cut across to Ataz Muhaha. <laughs> so is everybody on foot but me? I take it. Everyone, what? Is everybody on foot but me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't own a horse. So how did you want to get there? Let's let's boat down the yeah. fire. Thing. Good idea. And then cut across to Ataz Muhaha and catch another boat and go down to Kitsama. Is this like a boat that I can take my horse on, or is this not? Um, yeah, take the, remember we could take, take what, the, we could, took it before, but we left it behind. Let me find the random encounters sheet. You don't have to. No. Just <laughs> skip that part. So. But where's the fun in that? <coughs> I'm quite comfortable in a boat. Let's go in a boat. Jungle. No one dead. That's your sea legs. 65. Oh, you Jungle. noticed my legs, did you? <laughs> yeah, Ben's never been with a woman. <laughs> this He's is been why I'm temple. trying real hard. <laughs> As you guys get down the river and start heading across to Alzat Mahaha, <laughs> you get to about here. If I can get it to ping. Oh, it's on the wrong thing. No wonder it won't ping. You get about here. And you come across these, a bunch of these little frog looking men. Oh. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Talk to them. They look, uh, they look, they look sentient. No. Hey, Max, yeah. am I feeling any evil intent from them? Hold on, I'll tell you. you gotta let their sheet load. Grungs. Uh, yes, you smell some 
Uh, you smell a little bit of, of evil from them, but they're more more along the lines of a lawful evil. Well, for me, I think I just smell either evil or, or good, don't I? Yeah. So they're they're definitely evil. And one walks up to you, and it's got a, a, a staff and a cloak on, and it's little, and it walks up to Balinor, and it's all like, "Where's get get out of here? Get out of this hang out of. Uh, I, I think that's where I step in, guys. Yes, take care of it, sir. Uh, where's Where's my uh, commune with Nate? Or not commune? What do I got? Animal handling and 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 nature. Which one am I hitting here? Well, it's speaking grung language is the problem. And now you got the. Don't you have communicate with animals? Because you tried it. I have the a spell communicate. <laughs> Yeah. But I don't know if that applies here, does it? What, speak with animals? Um, yeah. Um, I'll, let it, I'll let it slide. What I have is, yeah, speak with animals. So, um, What does Grung fall under? Is it their own? It's their own language. Okay. Okay, it says, I gain the ability to comprehend and verbally communicate with beasts for the duration. The knowledge and awareness of many beasts is limited by their intelligence, but at minimum, beasts can give you information about nearby locations and monsters, including whatever they can perceive or blah, blah, blah. Yeah. You might be able to persuade a beast to perform a small favor for you at the GM's discretion. Hmm. <clears throat> as soon as you cast a spell, and it's all like, really, you guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you need to stay away from the south because the creeping, the creeping smoke is there. Oh, so good go. to know. Go Where south. exactly are we on the map? Curious. Could you pin me? Okay, so we already off the boat and we're moving across the land. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh hey, we for I forgot something back at the Finger Fire Tower. What? Uh, to loot our dead party member. Oh yeah, you can find Ralph's body at the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> what did Ralph have? Hold on. <laughs> well, now he's just a spot, guys. Oh, he got smashed into smithereens by a dead body of a pterodactyl too. Yeah. Doesn't mean we can't take his gold. Yeah, his gold, his, maybe some equipment. I don't know. All right, I'm gonna show it to the players that way you guys can see it. Can you see that? Let me scroll the screen here. I don't see, see anything. All right, well it's not showing up. So Ralph has. Chain mail, a long sword, a whip, a light crossbow, 20 crossbow bolts, an explorer's pack, a backpack, a bedroll, a mess kit, a tender box, 10 torches, 10 rations, a water skin, one hemp rope, and two things of bug repellent. Can I take his crossbow bolts? Any gold? Again, he's got 17 gold pieces. I'm just gonna, throw, I'm just gonna type out most of this and then copy it, and we can deal with it later or something. Okay. I was gonna see if I could get the crossbow. Let me see if I can. I, I would like some as well. Just give me a couple. No, I'd say divvy out the rations too. I just want too. the crossbow itself. Oh, I just want the bolt. <laughs> I already have a crossbow. There's 20. Can I take the bolt? Well, if you're going to take the crossbow, you're going to need some bolts. I can make my own. I have a fletching. All right, then here. I'll take the 20 crossbow bolts. Bolts. Okay. Mm. Can I have the whip? Unless anyone you else can. wants it. And I say, yeah, divvy out the rations to everybody a piece. Split them evenly. Yep. There was 10 rations or? No, there's 10 rations. I'll just say everyone can get two. All right. 
And then there's chain mail and a long sword. So yep. should I just keep track of anything that no one else has taken? Well, okay, yeah, real quick, is this interject? You pro we would have done all this before we went to the store. Do we just yeah. want to have Max say that we sold it for what people don't want and divvy up the gold? Yeah. Yeah. So that would be my want? suggestion because. All right. Um, what do you guys not want? I was um, just going to, I don't even know if I can wear chain mail, so. No, but I bet you, uh, Luz could. I, Luz can wear the chain mail. Yes, Luz can wear chain mail. Yes, Pops. Pops, you would not want to wear chain mail because it gives you disadvantage on your still your sneaking stuff. All right, I'm just asking. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm just I'm just telling. The chain mail is fifty five. Mm -hmm. It's fifty. That's how much it weighs. That's not well, that's how, how much it weighs. It's heavy. Okay. What is that? So, who wants to, so does anybody want the chain mail? I'm taking it. Me. Okay, so what you need to do, Les, is open your character sheet. Yeah. Click on the click on the eye, the circle with the eye around it, the eye with the circle around it. And type in chain mail. Oh, at the bottom? No. Where at the top of the, the at the top next to your character sheet journal, there's the the compendium, oh, the I, eye with a circle, and then type in chain mail. Chain. chain mail. Yep, and then it'll bring up chain mail, chain mail plus one, plus two, plus three, and a whole bunch of other chain mails. Yep. So just take chain mail, the regular chain mail, and drag it onto your character sheet and let go. Okay. Thing that I just added, and that'll automatically adjust your 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 armor class and everything. All right, I'm gonna on I'm gonna on click left armor. I could probably I probably would have sold that, right? Yeah, and you can get twelve gold coins for your leather armor. Okay. So what's left is the long sword, the explorer's pack, the backpack, the bedroll, and all that crap for him. So the long sword, how much are those? You get seven gold coins for the long sword. So let's just make it let's just make it twenty gold for everything that you sell off of his body. So we have thirty seven total then. With this 17. Yeah. Another 20, you said? We still have to split it up to the gold. Okay. So, four each or whatever. 30, 37 divided by six. Six each. Cool. How do you get rid of stuff from your inventory? Just. You just click on the little, there's a little lock. At the bottom of your inventory list. Yeah. Click Got that it. lock to where it's unlocked, and then it'll let you delete stuff and then lock it again when you're done. Gotcha. Got it. Oh, it's so much easier than erasing every 20 minutes. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Ooh, my armor class went up to 18. That's yep. what you need. That's what you need. The, the, the healers need to have the, the, the there's there's a, a, a theory that the healer should have the highest armor class possible. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. So if they get killed off, we can still protect people. But it's like spending all that all of my gold to get one point. It doesn't make any sense. Mm. Defense is expensive, man. I, I, one you thing know. I learned. I expect y'all to protect me too. That's yes. What's your domains? 
She's a wife, don't man. <laughs> cool. What? She gets extra extra healing. Cool. Oh yes. All right, so you go past the grungs, you get all that stuff sold. I'm going to get you to cure Sabala real quick, and then I, we're going to end the game. So let me look it up. Oh, that's the wrong thing to look up. My bad. <laughs> cure. Okay, cure Sabala. Okay, so they're telling us to avoid something, but we... I need to ask again. So, Don't go to the south because there's the 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 the, the danger smoke is down there. Okay. Can, I change the smoke? Can I check right their now, intent? Right, right now we're moving east. Yeah. Now, so I don't think we need to worry about that yet. Southeast a little, maybe. But if who we're oh. looking for could be what that danger smoke is, don't we want to? Research I mean, not, we we got to get to the east to the river to go south. So let's just keep going east to the river to Ataz Muhaha. That's where we're going. Yeah, that's where we need to go. Let's okay. look up Ataz real quick. Put that let's up. go there, and then we'll worry about what's south of us. Um, we heed the warning. We thank you for the warning. We're not really going south right now. Since they're evil, wouldn't they be afraid of something good down there? Touche, salesman. Now, somebody with more insight wants to question them further. Um, I rolled a 17. You're the only one that can understand them, Pop. So, no, we yeah. have to really everything you through you. Yeah, Unless he you gotta tell me what to ask or what you're feeling. That's what I was feeling. Seeing if you could ask them what, they, what the smoke is, if they could describe what they're talking about. Okay. The, um, what yeah, are you rolled mean? further to check their intent? Is 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 the smoke in the south from from something evil? I don't the know smoke. how to answer that if they're evil, but you know. danger smoke, very dangerous. Green smoke causes sickness, makes you ill, will kill you. No mm. good. No Poison good. gas kind of thing, right? Yep. So, our can I tell if they're killing. lying about that at all? No, they're being serious. Okay. Does, does the bug repellent help in any way against this, or do we need no. some breathing apparati? Or <laughs> you pretty much just have to avoid it. Okay. Well, we going east, so we avoid. It. All right, safety tip: get the stuff. <laughs> We're going uh, to Krasmagra. So you guys get to Ataz Muhaha and Ataz Muhaha, the Laughing Gorge. It's a gaping chasm crossed by an ancient stone span called the Monkey Bridge. Here, let me show you this picture. Uh-oh. If it comes to that? falling down, I'm good at it. Oh, it's a big bridge. Dive. Front row. Let me it's broken. Pull up the sheet. Yeah. Look how high off the ground it is. Oof. Yeah, they got the little brontosaurus down there for gauge. That's <laughs> why. I thought he was there for eating. <laughs> why are you always hungry? I'm not. I just I want to taste the meat. It's not about hunger. Yeah. If anybody tastes like chicken, it's you. I know. I, never mind. Uh, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> uh, um, what rating is the show now? <laughs> I know. I was like, I'm going to back up from what I just said there. <laughs> Azaka says the structure got its name from the monkeys that perch on its walls and hang by their tails from the underside. The monkeys are a mix of living monkeys and ancient carvings that are part of the bridge. Most of the carvings have been damaged by time but the skilled artistry remains apparent. The living monkeys chatter and shriek continually, and the gorge echoes with the sound of their cries. Occasionally, the echoes come from up and down the gorge, overlap in a way that transforms the cacophony into a haughty, gloating laughter. 
When that happens, the terrified monkeys fall silent for several minutes as the laughter dies away before resuming their chatter. Symbolic mazes are carved prominently into the bridge and its supports. The guide can confirm that the maze symbols and the solving of all the mazes are associated with the ancient worship of Uptau. A character can recall his information with a successful DC 20 religion check. The monkey's mm. friendly. Yeah, they're not. They're not attacking. <laughs> they're gonna jump us. <laughs> Let me move your characters onto this sheet. Hold on. It sounds strange said without gusto, you know. The laughing what? The laughing gorge? The laughing gorge. Yeah, because muha ha is like the last, so I thought it's ha. I can mimic that laughing sound now, right? Yep. Cool. So I can scare the monkeys. Gonna eat the monkeys too? Uh, oh, I've had monkey before. Gross. Uh, gross. Tastes like human. I mean. All right. So you guys are all on the. <laughs> wow. On the. I I lost my bridge picture. I don't know what happened. Oh. Uh, it's, it's all good because we're gonna end the game right here. Okay. Because this is. Got some stuff going on in it. Oh, well, got some rope. I got rope. That's good. So this is where we're at on the left of the screen, right? Yep, you're right over here. You're on the standing on the bridge. There's a shrine of Uptow, which is a god from the Chultons, right here. Okay. And you, there's a, you, the gorge is pretty big. As you've seen, it's pretty tall. Okay. It's like 100 feet in the air. So you guys are, are hanging out here. So I'll end the game here. That way we don't get lost in everything. So everyone's, what's your experience points? Um, we are at uh, 1745. All right, add 1,000 so you gain a level. We're going to gain levels. Okay. For finding the the Shrine of Uptow, which is a big deal. Oh, that's neat. So we'll start with Pops. Let me go through your character sheet real quick, Pops. I'm just going to do this real fast so I can do it. All right. So, Mr. Bohawk, Dungeons and Dragons next. Do you want to take the average or do you want to roll? Yeah, rolling didn't help with me. Let's just go with the average. Okay. Now you choose your ranger archetype. Beastmaster, Gloomstalker, Horizon Walker, Hunter, or Monster Slayer? Um... I think I'm going to go with uh, Hunter. Hunter. Got it. Good deal. That'll cut back on rations. Ability score increase. That's a little four. All right. Do you want a feat or do you want to increase your statistics some. I uh, definitely want to increase the statistics a little bit. All right, you can increase one ability 
by two or two abilities by one? So which ones do you, what do you want to increase? Okay, Dex does armor class. Yeah, it helps. Which, I mean, what helps armor class? Is Dexterity. Dexterity, all right. We'll go uh, one up on Dex and uh, one up on Wisdom. Okay. Done. Let's do your current spells. Okay. Can you replace one spells removed? You don't want to remove any of those. Next. Apply changes. All right. So you are level four. You're done. Now we'll go to Luz. All right, do you want to take the average or do you want to roll? Average. Okay. That's really cool. Pops. Oh, it's got doing that stupid thing again. I was going to say, uh, I, it's stuck. Yeah, hold on. Um, I think what happened last time is we were trying to do it, and Max was trying to do it too, and that's why it was screwed up. Just like get out of roll 20, Lori, and let him do it. I'm not touching anything. I can exit and, roll 20. I mean, completely. go ahead, get all the way out of roll 20 and just let right. Max do it. You know, that might uh, sh Should we all follow suit? I think that yeah, was the just, problem just last leave. time. We were all just in our stuff game. trying to fix it. Okay. Uh, See, her thing's all screwed up here. here. Oh. Well, let me fucking do anything. Exit game. There, I'm out. Okay. How do you exit game? At, um, at the top right, there's the little gear. Mm -hmm. Click on that, and then all the way at the bottom of like the chat, there's the exit it. game. Thank you. Bam. And then I just logged out. I rolled twenty completely. So. I'm just gonna close it because I'm gonna go in there and mess with my bio and stuff. Character <laughs> man, sir. Max might have to refresh, but that might give him the. I'm trying to find some things here. So I'm going to go ahead and end the stream, everybody. I'm going to thank you guys for watching. We're going to, we can fix all this in the backstage. We don't have to right. make everybody suffer through this. Ah. You guys like to watch. Um, <laughs> thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure you tune in next week because we'll be back doing it again. All right. So I'm going to, we're going to do these character levels later because I've got to go. So, okay, no problem. I don't know why Roll20 is going to be a bastard. Yeah, it's being a pain. I love how it flashes to let you know you need to level up. All oh, this is fantastic. I'm loving this. Yeah. All right. So I will catch you guys everybody. later. Thanks for watching. All right, Max. Bye, everybody. Yeah, Bye. Have a good day. Peace. Bringing you sex, sass, and style. Buckle up and unlock your imagination for a fun adventure with these death-dealing dames. They sail the galaxy in search of spoils. The most dangerous acquisition, and the most fruitful, are the legendary Splinters of Yggdrasil. The Splinters are magical artifacts forged from the Tree of Life that wreak havoc on the universe. The missions are perilous, but the bounty is glorious. Enjoy our hyper-fictional wonderland. How is a pirate ship sailing through space? Because magic. 
How do they heal so quickly after battle? Cause magic. How are they able to communicate through jewelry? Cause magic. It's all about the characters. Abo, rough, robotic, ready. Mo, carefree, callous, courageous. Mistress Graven, daring, diplomatic, dominating. Betsy, academic, accountable, aristocratic. Nefara, ancient, assured, adrenaline junkie. Bruto, proud, prominent, protective. Fisty, independent, incendiary, invigorating. Roxy, superficial, scarred, secretive. Once you get to know this diverse crew of mythical miscreants, you'll be anxious to find out what trouble they'll get into on the next episode. Go to abogrizzly.com and order both halves of the first episode today.
In a world where creatures of myth and legend exist, a covert task force is charged with keeping humanity safe from supernatural threats. And when young Nancy Moon stumbles into the eternal battle between good and evil, she finds... Oh my god, will you shut up? What's happening? Agent Beckett here. Aren't you tired of stuff like that? Want something different? Roll the tape. Whoops. Sorry about that. That's a song I'm writing for my ex. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that's more like it. Alrighty. Welcome to the world of the mythicals. We have it all. Monsters. Magic. Government agents. He's the strong silent type. This guy. Ugh, gross, dude. Get some kind of cream or something. Lots of 90s sour action. Pew, pew, pew. And that strong female lead alluded to earlier. Mm-hmm. Not to mention a dashing field commander with a great sense of fashion. Look at those glasses. South River Studios presents The Mythicals, Issue 1. Buy it, if you dare. <laughs> Ugh. Well, you can it already? How'd you get free? Now beat it before I lose my cool. So what are you waiting for? Sign up today. Like right now. Sign up today on Indiegogo. How do you end this thing? How do you put the... Where, there was the brakes on this bus. I forgot. Jazz how hands. Go. Jazz hands. Are Comic Books for Kids provides comic books to kids in hospitals and cancer centers across the U.S. It's a place where we can all work together to make sure every child has a comic book. 100% of all proceeds go towards the kids. It's about making a difference, and while they're in the hospital, allowing them to fly like a superhero, battle dragons, or rescue teddy bears. We are in every state in the country and now support over 160 hospitals. Every month, we add more. Visit CB.